YouTubers, Electric Adventures here, just doing a quick gameplay video. Uh, this is an MSX game. Uh, it's actually a homebrew conversion of the Coleco version of Gyros back to MSX with a couple of little enhancements over the original version. The first of which is a bit more of a title screen. Whoops. Uh, the other enhancements is the main ship uh, it uses more sprites to To, um, to be more colourful. And of course it's using the MSX's sound chip. That's better. Um, um, to get better sound. So, I haven't played this version for a little while, so let's see how far I can get. I actually quite like the arcade game. And it's interesting, rather than using a Coleco controller, I'll obviously using my oops, arcade stick on my uh, MSX. And, oh, no, casual play, I am using like, the rapid fire part of the arcade stick. see and obviously this is at 60 Hertz as well so it um, goes at a fair clip <clears throat> Ooh, that's close. It's not that hard to get perfect on the first um, planet, anyway. Uh, they also improved the uh, the fonts that display the score and everything like that. And Oops. Whereas the Coleco one, as a lot of the um, Coleco titles back in the day, used the inbuilt font set. Ooh. Oh, I definitely wore that one. Oh, the second one. Didn't they? Oh. But that's through my lives now, doing silly things. Line. You might have to have a couple of goes at this rate. Oh, and like that, I'm dead. Obviously, 60 hertz is uh, giving me a run for the money. Let's give it another go. Let's call that the warm up. <clears throat> Straight back into it. A lot harder to line up those diagonal ones. So I really do like this game. Quite like it in the arcades. I do have an arcade board. Um, <clears throat> uh, it is actually a stereo game, and my board is only output of putting the second channel, not the first one. So when you wire it up in a little chat cabinets, I've only got mono. You get no sound. Um, oops. I need a chance to just probably um, recap parts of the sound part of the board and then that'll turn it into a fully worker. Um, 
and I'll probably swap it over in my uh, X Twin Cobra cabinet. Twin Cobra's not working again, so not working at all at the moment. My board won't even boot. Um. Yes, lots of Arco projects. I also got my Tutan car working again. Um, I've reseated the. Um, what's the other thing? The, the cap onto the CRT. So yes, I have gotten over my fear of going, of touching anything to do with CRTs. Which I, you know, being an arcade person, I do need to get over that fear. <laughs> because otherwise, you know, these old machines, you've got to keep the monitors going. Um, so I'm getting a much clearer picture on the Tutankham now. And the part where the picture was fading away to dark, I do believe is actually a problem with the harness. And uh, maybe even the board. Stage six. We're only one more stage first than I got last time. Vicious. Oh no! In my defence, I am playing it at 60 hertz. I'm playing it on a Japanese MSX2 Plus. Which obviously does make a difference. <coughs> Made it to Uranus. Now, can I remember the chat? No. No, I can't remember. No, I'm hopeless, I know. No, I've all missed two already. Ah! Okay, I missed four. Should be able to remember those patterns, that's getting very slack of me. It's actually the next one, Saturn, that I normally um, can't remember the pets on. No guarantees of me getting to Saturn next on. Difficulty curve of this one though. Oh. So they can't keep you on the way into the screen, but as soon as they dip out, you are vulnerable. Oh my god, they come straight for you. Last life. Oh, they are vicious. Alright, well I got to stage 8. I didn't quite make it to Saturn. Um, but as you can see, it's an excellent version. Um, probably a little bit easier if I played it on a 50Hz machine, but I like a bit of a challenge. Um, yeah, a very impressive conversion back from Coleco to MSX, because MSX never got its own version. Uh, very well done. Just a couple of little added effects um, with colours and obviously um, better sound because of the um, better MSX um, sound chip. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this gameplay. I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.